Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, this, this has me like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm already feeling kind of like, ooh, what is this? So we have the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. I have the Strength card. I have the Temperance card and the um, Empress. And here's the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to do one more row. But let me tell you what I'm getting right so far from what I'm seeing here. Okay. This could have to do... Um, I'm going to read this is, is what I see just for for you, okay? If, if this is your message. I feel strongly like someone is beginning to use more of their logical, um, analytical senses and abilities right now. I feel like if you are a divine feminine, especially, and keep in mind divine feminine could be male or female, you are going through a period right now where you are being... urged and advised to temper yourself to have a lot of control self-control for some reason the word pride is coming to mind okay you need to be able to choose pride over patience in a situation something here is about to unfold i can i can already see exactly what's happening here i feel like right now and this is natural, it's normal. A lot of people have gone through a lot. You've had to carry a lot of burdens. You're releasing a lot of baggage. And you have a lot of pride in yourself, right? You, you're proud of, of who you are, who you've become. You're proud of where you're going. But there is something within you and around you that's taking place that you can't control, and when you can't control certain things that's happening around you or you can't with timing, with the will of fortune, there's something good that you're manifesting. You know what's coming, but you haven't seen it yet. And what will tend to happen is pride will get in the way and you'll be like, I know I should have had that by now or, you know, this should have worked out by now. And that favor that, that you're receiving, it will be delayed because you're saying, well, I should have, I would have, I could have, when in actuality, what Spirit is saying is, I need you to be patient right now. Something within you is being stirred up and you're being integrated. There is something that you have experienced, that you have um, felt, that's being transmuted, okay? I've been talking a lot lately about like shadow work and healing. The things that you are not proud of, they don't go away, but how you choose to look at the situation is what's changing. Now, this King of Swords for me sometimes can be Archangel Mike, like Archangel Michael energy. But for some of you, the other thing that I'm picking up is the reason why it's so important for you to temper yourself and have this self-control, this patience, um, to do this shadow work, healing, and temperance, there's something really good coming in for you. This King of Swords for some of you is a masculine energy. This could be someone right now who is holding on to you. Yeah. You have a person... Either you're, you have met this person or you will meet this person. This isn't like a past, past person. It's not. You have somebody right now with this King of Swords. They're very logical, analytical. You're very creative with the Empress. This free spirit energy that you have that can be impatient. It's easy to be impatient when you are a creator because... You can just do what you want to do, okay? You think about a lot of people now in the last few years who work from home. You're quick to do what you want to do because you don't have to... You're not being ruled or advised by someone. As the divine feminine, 
you you do what you want to do because you know how to manifest and create and you are very fertile with creativity and abundance you have a person in your life or coming into your life this person has more of with this four of pentacles i'm gonna say it a scarcity mindset or a lack mentality i feel like you're being asked right now to try to have some grace you right now are shutting somebody up and shutting them down and it doesn't have to be in a bad way this is going to force someone to change it's gonna force somebody to start tempering you tempering yourself is going to make somebody else temper themselves yeah see this five of swords energy is in the five of cups this is someone who is currently dealing with some type of regret um someone is 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 disappointed too in something that they've said or how they've communicated something um there could have been a missed opportunity the Four of Pentacles is being clarified here with the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, it is protection. It's standing your ground. But when I see the Seven of Wands, for me, especially because this person has a green shirt on, this is also the type of person who has been unwilling to open their heart. And the Strength card, you have the power to heal. You have the power to heal someone with a broken heart. You have the power to heal someone who has given up hope and faith but in healing someone it's all about your mindset your delivery and your patience there's an energy here that is coming towards you and you're like i don't feel like dealing with that but it's like it's an assignment for you yeah the queen of pentacles with the temperance something is happening in the background and it's happening within you and it's happening around you that if you can pass whatever this course is you're going to get this pentacle this could be a business idea for some of you some of you you could have an employee and you're like this person is just not doing what i want them to do what i need them to do you will be surprised this person is eventually going to have some kind of breakthrough the page of pentacles yeah it's a stable new beginning that's coming here what you have somebody else they have it too they just haven't gotten to where you are somebody has pentacles but but they're holding on to them so tightly that like what it is is somebody around you they have not fully like activated nine of cups yeah so whatever is coming is wish fulfillment right now you this stable secure energy oh my goodness <laughs> nine of nine of pentacles ace of pentacles I know I just saw the Ten of High Priestess and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And the Hermit. If somebody is going within right now, let them. If you need to go within right now, do it. If you need to learn or study something new, do it. If you need to go back to school, if you need to get a certification, if you need to open a new location, whatever you need to do right now that's going to help you on your path, do it. That should be your only concern. Don't worry about who, who left. Don't worry about who's coming. Right now, you just need to be extremely hyper-focused on manifesting what you want. Do not allow your weak flesh to get in the way. Do not allow um, old, outdated mindset or beliefs to get in the way. Don't allow another person to trigger you, to stop you, slow you down, or get on. You, whatever this is, especially with this King of Swords energy, and, and this would be, if I looked at this like past, present, future, this is something right here. It, it could be in the recent past, so it could even be happening now. But if this is an energy that doesn't align with you, you need to quickly just put it behind you. Like, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't slow down for this King of Swords energy. Some of you, this could actually be like a divine masculine for you. But this person is not yet as awakened as you. The way that this person will awaken is by you healing and you moving forward and letting this person know. I'm not going to slow down. You're going to have to pick up the pace. You're going to have to catch the tempo and pick up the pace. I can't slow down for you. That's what this energy is. And whoever this king of swords is, this could be any person. This could be a friend, a family member, um, a potential partner, whoever it is. It's, the, it's like, seriously, you have so much ahead of you. This isn't a con This can't be your primary concern. It can't be. Because this person, if they're disappointed, they're going to have to see this two of cups here. Somebody is going to have to see how things balance out 
and they're gonna have to see that on their own the, the four of pentacles this person is holding on to their own beliefs Whatever they have, they're holding on to. When I see the four of pentacles too, that's the kind of person who is in survival mode. They're like, no, whatever you tell them, they, they can't hear it. They don't want to hear what you're saying because this person is too afraid to take a leap of faith. So this is the kind of person you're just going to have to let them learn something on their own. 100%. They'll come. If it's meant for them to come around, they'll come around. If it's meant for you to do business with this person, they will come to you when they see your business or whatever you have they will come to you with something stable that can actually contribute to whatever it is that you're building but you cannot stop or slow down for whatever this person or this energy is you're going to be surprised by the outcome in this situation though yeah see the ace of pentacles is in the reverse so some of you right now you're dealing with someone who um this deck was in the reverse. Let me see. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Somebody is disappointed with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Again, you're dealing, there's an energy out here for sure. And this could be your energy, to be honest. It could be your energy and you're coming out of this. I do feel like it's another energy though, but take it how it resonates for you. It could be just, this could be just your reading. Because this is energy or this may actually have something to do with another person. But the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. So somebody here is disappointed because they either missed an opportunity or they are afraid that they're going to miss an opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse could definitely speak of like a financial hardship, someone not having money or, or whatever. And then the Nine of Swords is in the reverse. So the Nine of Swords, it just fell on top of this Four of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. Someone is finally about to let go of this pessimism, this negativity, this stress, fear, and, and anxiety. Someone has a lot of anxiety because perhaps their financial situation or they feel like they don't have enough to offer. If this is a, a situation in the workplace, somebody just feels like they they're just not picking up whatever the assignment is or whatever the case may be. But the king of pentacles, you have the power to actually help heal this person so that they can actually come towards you with security or they can be of greater value. But you're going to have to let this person realize somebody needs to realize that you're that you're the divine feminine or it's like they are realizing this. Because see, you have the strength, you have the strength, you have the courage to heal the strength with the star. You have the healing energy. So if you, if a person comes to you with anything broken, the tempers and the divine feminine energy here, you can heal them. I mean, literally the star, the tempers and the empress, you're an earth angel. But see, again, it's like you have pride in yourself, but you don't have to be mean, nasty or ugly about it. You, This is like that that quiet storm energy you already know the type of power that you possess it looks like this is the kind of energy now where you're making a believer out of a lot of people who doubted you but there is a person out here in particular who is stressed out because they're losing everything or they've lost everything they're misguided they don't know what to do next and spirit is like okay let this person fall and bump their head they will eventually look up and realize just who you really are. Yeah, the two of cups. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the two of swords. Somebody's making a decision. Secure, like King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's all about security, stability. They want to build an empire. They want to have a certain type of status. The two of cups. Somebody is stressed out about this status, this security, this stability. Um their ability to offer you a partnership because they are in survival mode. This person is dealing with lack. And now there's a decision that has to be made. You could be making the decision. Yeah. And then the four of wands is in the reverse. You could be making the decision that, Hey, I'm not going to deal with this until you learn how to manifest. You're, you're pulling your energy back. The eight of stores and the magician, you're, yeah, divine feminine, you're pulling your energy back from someone. And I think you should. You're pulling your, you're, you're saying, no, I'm not going to keep sharing my ideas. I'm not going to be sharing energy. You know, I'm, I'm just going to bring it in. And this is where 
I'm saying the pride versus the patience. This is, yeah, you know you have the power. You know you have the energy. But that doesn't mean, so, because hmm, I, I, I can, I'm seeing, like, an actual journal entry that I have of this from a long time ago. Just because, just because you're able doesn't mean that you have to be willing to do it. You're able to manifest. You're able to heal. But what spirit is saying for you at this time is you need to be careful of who you go out there trying to heal and save. Some people are meant to be in your life, but they have to still go through their own process. You can't just always go in there with your magic wand and put everyone on their divine path. Sometimes you need to hold back. Because if you don't, then some people, you're enabling them and they will never actually learn. And if people don't ever learn, if they've been assigned to you, they won't ever actually know your power either. And you'll walk around trying to be like, well, I have so much pride in myself. Don't you see it? No, they don't see it because you're enabling them. You need to stop enabling people here. That's why the four of wands is in the reverse. This right here could be a partnership. But but if there's something here, it's, it's not stable. Someone here is deciding, I'm not going to invest in this situation. Because there's a stalemate energy. There's a decision that has to be made. It's like, listen, before I invest in you, I need to see you invest in yourself. This could be some of you, like, you're someone's mentor, like I said, business partner. It's like, before I help you, have this security, this stability, and whatever, you need to invest in yourself because someone here is feeling trapped and they don't know how to manifest. I feel like this is like, okay, listen, you, you give them a gem and you're going to have to give this person a seed, just a seed, and, and let them go and plant it themselves. You don't need to go and try to share your harvest with this person. It's the whole, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. If you teach him how to fish, he'll never go hungry. This is, and, and that's how my readings have been lately too. It's a lot of tough love energy. Like I'm not going to keep sugarcoating things. I'm not. Because people are not learning. We're in a time where whatever you're meant to know, you it needs to come out. And you, you have to be activated. This part, somebody here is, dealing with a lot of instability. They're not organized. Their finances are, are messed up. And here you have the high priestess. It's like you already know what to do in this situation. And your intuition is also telling you too, Knight of Wands, that somebody is arrogant. They're reckless. They're too confident. Somebody here is losing because they don't know how to prioritize things. This could be someone's... um son or daughter a young adult with the knight of wands but the knight of wands is in the reverse somebody here is is just they're, they're, they're talking about things but they're not delivering and i feel like as a as a divine feminine high priestess you can look at the situation and you're like well i see why things aren't working out i see why everything in your life is is not working out right now because this person Despite what they talk about and what they do, this person has a lack mentality. And again, be mad at me, but for some of you, this is you. And it's nothing wrong. We're here to heal and grow. So when I speak the truth, there's no point in getting mad. Some people here, you will see individuals who have all the money in the world and they still have a scarcity mindset. They still have a lack mentality. And therefore, they have the money, but they don't know how to multiply it. I feel like right now we're going in a season where there should be um, more creation you should be able to build on what you, this is a time of more expansion, but you have to have a certain mindset to expand. A lot of people know how to get a job. They know how to get a relationship. They know how to get the money, but they don't know how to maintain it. And that's why the, the temperance energy is here. When you start creating something, do you know how to stabilize the situation when it gets rocky? Some of you who want to go into serious partnerships, perhaps they will lead to marriage. Do you know how to maintain that marriage once you get it? 
Once you get that business, do you know how to maintain? Do you know what to do when all of a sudden all systems shut down? A lot of people don't know what to do. The Ace of Cups, it's like right now it's a it's a battle kind of because it's like you have all this love and this healing to give, but the Seven of Pentacles is here in the reverse. Giving somebody all of your love who does not understand really how love, how energy, how healing works, it will be a bad investment. And I feel like that's what somebody is really recognized. Like this is a bad investment and it's probably best nine of pentacles that, that I hold on to my own success, my own independence, because if you don't, you could take a loss in this situation. Yeah. The three of wands and the 10 of wands. Somebody just doesn't know how to plan or, or somebody is, is very much burdened and overwhelmed they're carrying a lot of baggage and they can't they're just having a hard time seeing the light at the end of the tunnel but this person is going somebody is going through like a dark night of the soul they have to go through this you cannot say that yeah king of cups in the reverse and the devil in the reverse and this is falling right underneath this king of pentacles for some of you someone here is taking bad advice from someone Oh my gosh. This from I did a reading like this a few weeks ago. Somebody needs to stop thinking that their dad is giving them the right advice. Somebody's father, a big brother, if this is a man, somebody there's a masculine that is giving someone bad advice and they're not able to be released from this bondage. But see, if you're like a divine feminine and you see this happening to this person, you're going to have to let this person see like somebody here is going to have to go through a betrayal or a hit rock bottom for them to see. Because what I'm really getting, and for some of you, this could be a past situation where you warned somebody of something and they didn't listen. Now they're realizing, oh, wow, I should have listened to Divine Feminine. Or you're dealing with somebody right now. And I feel like you might as well, you should just sit back and let them, let, let this person hit rock bottom. You're going to have to let this person see for themselves that whoever they're getting this advice from is not helping them. That's for some. For some people, this King of Pentacles and this King of Cups in the reverse is the same person. And this person, they're trying to get out of a situation where they've been listening, getting bad advice. Or the King of Cups where they at some point perhaps been emotionally um, detached, unavailable, maybe even emotionally manipulative. Now, this person is, is so overwhelmed with burdens. I'm really getting that. Now, now this person's like, please, I need to free myself from the devil. This person is being forced now to go through a dark night of the soul. Now they're curious about something with spirituality and healing because they're like, whatever I've been doing, it's not working. And that is the reason why if you are the divine feminine, if you are the lover, the mentor, friend, family member, or whomever to this person, let them go through this. I feel like you've already given this person some kind of guidance, but they're going to, this is something they have to see it to believe it because remember they're king of swords. It has to make sense for them. They can't, this person can't feel their way through things. They have to, it, it, it just, they have to think about it and what this person is going to learn when you're dealing with healers, light workers, divine beings, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. What the human eye sees, you're, you're, you're seeing far beyond that, but see you're focused right now on, on the 10 of Pentacles and this person, they're an emperor in the reverse. High priestess, you need to trust your intuition about this. But this person, I feel, is eventually going to be coming to you for some kind of spiritual advice. And I had a reading about this the other day about um, a, the, like a high priestess who has guided someone out of a really, really bad financial situation or being taken advantage of in a company or something like that. What this reading here may be is that Someone may be realizing now that you're their guiding light. Someone who could have been before um, 
I was be prideful. They're realizing now like, oh, wow. Somebody is realizing now that their lack of patience and them being so prideful and stubborn has landed them in a really bad situation. And I feel like they're reflecting now in this dark night of the soul and they're remembering something that perhaps you told them or someone else told them. Like I said, with the Empress, that could be a mother. This could be a mother t talking to their young child. I told you not to do that. I told you not to go there. I told you not to date that person. And now this person has taken some kind of loss and they're like, man, I should have listened. Or like I said, this could be a potential love interest. And if you're like this, you probably told this person, I don't, I don't think that that's a good investment. Or, you know, maybe you need to start doing some shadow work and healing. And they, I, I don't do that. I'm not into that. Now this person is losing everything. And they're like, oh, man, they're going to recover. But you just need to know you've already done your part. Yeah. Six of swords. There's going to be some kind of transition, some kind of forward movement where someone will eventually have stability six of swords mm. somebody may relocate somebody may have to just start completely over judgment six of swords under judgment somebody is gonna finally recover when they awaken when they take time out to look at themselves somebody is just being forced into an awakening yeah the queen of cups and this awakening is coming because the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. You're not about to sit here and feed into this situation. I noticed the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups are in the reverse. And the Empress. Wow. <laughs> this Empress is putting her foot all the way down. You have the King of Cups in the reverse. This person, this person at some point was trying to be, I don't feel like this person is emotionally manipulative. Let me say this, because when you read energy, you, you have to really see the layers of the people that you're, that's coming out. Some people are a bit like, um, I'm going to use the word cunning. They are unconsciously like cunning. The reason why I'm saying that, and I'm not trying to make excuses for anybody, the four of pentacles is here and the seven of wands. When you see the four of pentacles and the seven of wands, this is somebody who their heart chakra is blocked. They're holding on to everything that they have. Most likely they're struggling to build anything. This person is in survival mode. So if they can get something from you, they're going to take it. And if you give to this person, they're not going to tell you, hey, I don't really deserve this, so stop giving it. This is where divine feminine has to know their own worth and value and can say, I have the power to heal and to change this situation, but it's not my place to do that. Because if you, if you feed into this type of situation, like I said, it's like giving this person fish. They're only going to eat for one day. This person needs to learn how to fish. And I do feel now that this person is looking at a divine feminine as a potential lover, a mate. And it's, it's making them realize now like, oh, wow, I really need to work on my depend my codependency. This person is realizing now that whatever toxic behavior or ways that they have, they're like, OK, my well is really about to run dry. If I don't change, the problem is they don't really know what to change. But I feel like if you tell this person one thing, that's all you have to do. You speak on this one time and you move on. Because I feel like somebody should just be like, like, look at your life. Look at your 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 lack of stability and security. The four ones is in the reverse. Somebody here cannot manifest. They're not celebrating. They're unhappy. Wherever they live, they're unhappy. It's like, okay, you're at a stalemate because you won't make the decision to wake up and heal. So, yes, you live in this mental entrapment. And I feel like this math, this divine feminine is a queen of cups in the reverse. No, 
Spirit has said, no, she's not. Mm -mm, that's not what this is. Okay, thank you. This Queen of Cups. Wow. <laughs> this masculine here, this person. They still have like some kind of soul tie to a Queen of Cups in the reverse that has them restricted. They may not be with this person, but the situation has taken such a toll on them. You're dealing with someone. Who, I'm just going to say it. There is a masculine energy out here and I'm getting specifically a man, but it does not have to be. It could be a male or a female. Somebody here. And I've been, this man's coming up a lot. Somebody has PTSD from a relationship. This Queen of Cups in the reverse is the type of person who is, is very much fake, gullible, naive, um, the type of person who wants to come off like they are a sweetheart, but this person is not. And this person, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, is a type of person who will do anything for their own emotional fulfillment, including be a drama queen and be manipulative. This person and this masculine were together. This person is trying to free themselves from some from this this soul tie that they have because the magician and the empress they're wanting to manifest this divine feminine and this person has already recognized the divine feminine's power and the true essence of who you are but spirit is saying you will not be allowed to fully integrate with this person while they still have this queen of cups in the reverse attached to them in any way even if they're still thinking about that person it's too much because that person most likely is some type of shapeshifter energy that has connected to this person when you start getting in relationships with people when they are still stuck or they're still having like some kind of hole tied to some soul tied to a person that becomes your soul tie and the empress is out here twice spirit is really protecting you from someone because they have not gotten over some type of heartbreak or a situation with someone this person is going through a dark night of the soul this person they feel very much defeated because most likely they lost everything this man is probably broken heart i guarantee you this is someone who made a serious offer to somebody and once they made an offer or they accepted an offer from this person all of their stability and everything else went downhill. Now this person is afraid to take any kind of risk in love. That is the reason why the Four of Pentacles is here and the Seven of Wands. This person is holding on to dear life, to anything that they have or anything that may come in. And they're trying to guard and protect their heart. But Spirit is saying, if you're a divine feminine, you don't have to prove to this person that you're not going to hurt them. If they can't see it, then that's on them. Let this person, let this person go through whatever emotions they want to go through. Because they are going to have to be the one with the fool, the hierophant, and the son to decide that they're ready to take a leap of faith. This person is now, they're afraid. They could have been married before. This person is, is traumatized it, by something. What it is, this person is afraid of commitment. They're afraid now to share, especially like their finances with somebody. They're afraid to have a reciprocal relationship because they've seen that in, in the relationships that they've had in the past that were supposed to be reciprocal, they took a major loss. And this could be you. You and this person both could be struggling with this. The son is here. The hierophant and the son. Someone has to free themselves. And if this person don't, if they don't get it together, if they're in your life, you may just have to free yourself because if you want marriage and commitment, joy, peace, and happiness, and this person is carrying a burden of their own broken heart and they don't want to do the work, spirit is like, you need to move on. For some of you, you just need to be patient. You know your situation. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. Don't be willing, though, to repeat any cycles. If you see it's just not... The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, though, it fell underneath the Four of Wands in the reverse. Somebody went into a lot of debt in a relationship. Yeah, there you have it. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody went into so much debt trying to take care of someone or impress a person. 
they spent a lot of money yeah and or or someone thought that a situation a marriage a situation was going to bring them a huge investment and it didn't pan out the way that they thought and now they're oh they're getting clarity and that's why this five of cups in the, it's in the reverse somebody yeah this person has taken a financial loss and they're heartbroken this could be you someone else or it's you and another person but this is the energy that's out here i feel like people in the collective especially with um venus just went direct after being retrograde for several weeks and we still have mercury in retrograde people are really reflecting over past relationships and their losses people are realizing like wow i gave my best to this situation and I lost everything in this situation. And now it's very hard to have any type of faith, hope, and trust in new situations because it's like, oh my gosh, I really thought that that was my happily ever after. I thought that me and that person would be married forever or we would get married, we would have businesses. And somebody is like, and all I got out of this was a 10 of wands. All I got was a bunch of burdens. Now I'm afraid of love. I'm afraid of commitment. I'm restricted. Somebody definitely was looking at a situation like this is going to be the happy marriage, the baby carriage. We're going to build a life together. And it didn't happen that way. Uh, for some of you, this is what you thought about a person that's in your life now. And you may be getting clarity that no, that's not what this is going to be. Because this person or you are still trying to be released from some kind of baggage. And therefore, this can't move forward. Take it how it resonates. It could be a past situation. This could be happening now. Or you may face this in the future. Wow. Yeah, the, the somebody's idea of a happily ever after has been shattered. Or that or someone is is finally beginning to process that in the past they had really high hopes for something and it fell through and they're now like, "Oh shoot, like wow, I I feel like somebody's like, "Wow, I really have to start over." The Knight of Wands, but it's in the reverse. Somebody here is, they're cold, they're arrogant, they're prideful, they're they are in their ego because they're hurt. Wow, this person is broken hearted. So this person, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this person is trying to act like they're a player, like they don't want any type of commitment. It's because this person is so hurt. Yeah, the justice in the reverse. This person, they feel like they didn't get justice. But this person also... I'm not going to make excuses. This person, you know, sometimes when a person has been abused, they become the abuser. This is someone who got mistreated and now they're refusing to do shadow work and they're not realizing that they're becoming just like the person that mistreated them. This could be you or this person. It doesn't matter if this is a man or a woman, but that tends to happen. When people, good people get into bad relationships, hurt people hurt people. When good people get into bad relationships, they will get they will become so scorned and so upset. They will go into another relationship and they will be just like the person that they just left running from. That's what's happening here. Or spirit is saying you need to leave a person alone to do their shadow work and healing so that that does not happen. Again, take it wherever it is in your timeline or this could be a message to you. Please don't bring your past into a new relationship. Some of you, because of a, a major injustice in the past, when you meet people now, you're automatically being cold, detached, mean. That's going to corrupt any type of good situation and, and stop you from actually having any type of teamwork or being able to collaborate. This may, even if it's not a romantic situation, some people, life has made them so hard and rough around the edges that when they go around people even in their workplace they're just mean they're angry they're very matter of fact that's because somebody here just has a lot of unhealed wounds the page of pentacles but there's good news coming about something that is going to bring security and stability or a new opportunity but someone is going to have to be more open-minded about it the death card yeah somebody is finally getting a confirmation that it's time for them to let go 
It's time for them to go through a transformation. Yeah, and let go of the illusions, the seven of cups in the reverse. And if someone is trying to heal themselves by having multiple people, they're really about to see now like, wow, I need to stop doing that. Or someone is realizing that in a time when they were, I guess you could say like, somebody with the seven of cups, that's, that's having multiple options. You know how when some people, they have a broken heart and they just go out and they, you know, they start dealing with a lot of people. Somebody did that. And it's bringing me to the other day when I said there's someone that, that is attached to a person that has a spirit of death. When somebody, when somebody had a, a single season, they picked up a really bad soul tie. They were spiraling out of control. They, they were falling into a bunch of illusions, but I feel like this person may have dealt with multiple people while they were in some type of transition. They made some bad choices. This also, too, gives me, like, a lot of people go through this in their spiritual journey. And in the readings, you guys, I, I want to provide more spiritual guidance as being able to, like shed light on the things that have happened to people, especially in their past, that is putting you in these different positions currently. You tend to see people go from bad relationship to bad relationship to bad relationship. I think that a lot of people are healing now from that. This could be a male or, or female. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody got out of a really bad relationship. They got out of one bad relationship and unfortunately, they went into an, another situation. They went into another situation thinking that, okay, this is so much better than the last. And it turned out to actually be wor the, the worst situation that they've ever been in. But because they were really convinced that this illusion was true, This like destroy it almost destroyed. It was like before one wound was healed, this person went and just got stabbed in the back so bad. And now they're healing from this. This has someone very afraid to let love in because they're like, no. And I see this happen too. In fact, it has happened to me even. When you're on your spiritual path and journey, you're like, I have this figured out. And you go out into the world and you meet people and you realize that your discernment isn't as strong as you thought. Yeah, that's what this is. Someone's like, they don't trust themselves because when they thought that they had been through the worst already, they ran into something that was 10 times worse. And whatever was the absolute worst, it looked the best. Someone's perception is off. Or they're realizing that due to bad perception, yeah, somebody ran into a real cold-hearted person, a very just cold, malicious person. But see, they thought that they were moving forward with this person, that there would be victory and success. No, the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Wands, the Chariot. Now somebody's Seven of Swords, somebody's conscience is kicking in. Somebody is now ready to tell the truth like, yeah, I messed up. This could also be a masculine or feminine, whomever. Somebody is realizing, oh, I chose somebody over a good person. And my life is now destroyed because of that. Somebody now, they're dealing with that. It's a lot coming out here. It's just a lot of healing. That full moon in Pisces was no joke. And then here's the King of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are out here together in the chariot. So we do have that third party. Somebody here was with a very, very cold-hearted, miserable, malicious person that could not be trusted. Now this person... This masculine for sure is trying to keep their eye on the cherry because they want to go towards 
someone that they see as their match, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the star. But they they have to fully be able to release all of the emotional things connected to this Queen of Swords in the reverse. And that's the truth, the King of Swords. Again, this is that same person. This person, it has to make sense to them. But now the King of the Knight of Pentacles is here and the Four of Pentacles is in the reverse. So this person, they are healing. The Knight of Pentacles, like I said, it, it requires patience, but the Four of Pentacles is here. This person is finally about to have some kind of breakthrough where the energy of this very dark, malicious person that has them kind of stuck in fear, they're shedding the weight of that. That's what the Four of Pentacles is in the reverse is. There's um this soul tie was it was it was kind of like demonic possession almost. This wound, this soul tie was causing this person to do like crazy stuff, which it really is like the reading I did yesterday. It's a soul tie that literally the whole point was to make someone just block out love. And I feel like it did what it was supposed to do. And this person is now realizing like, no, I really have to take control of this situation. Somebody has gone through multiple relationships and they're like, I keep doing the same thing over and over. And now they're reflecting back. Uh, this is, and again, I've seen this before because I've gone through it. When you keep running into the same spirit, you eventually have to look back over your life and be like, when did this start? Hmm. Most likely you will be able to pinpoint the very person that you ran into. And once you ran into that person, especially in a romantic relationship, you're like, you know what? Life has been going downhill ever since I met that person. Or some people have been married to someone and they're like, ever since I married that person and we went through our divorce, like I've just been having pure hell. That's a, it's a, it's a soul tie somewhere that someone is going to have to go through the, the right process to realize you got to like get rid of that. Somebody was confused at some point going from one heartbreak and they fell right into the arms of a, a real demon, the devil himself, the, a real Jezebel and, and, and it was in love with it with this person. And they're like, wow, now somebody is waking up because they're going through this spiritual awakening. They're like, Oh crap. Happiness. You're going to be happy. Reconciliation. Wrong timing. So for some of you, you and someone met and they were knee deep in like their healing. They're a dark night of the soul. They're, they're wanting a fresh start with you. I don't feel like this is someone old. I feel like this is for some of you, someone currently in your life or you met this person and you separated. It just was the wrong time. But you're, you're like the one that they really want to be with. This person looks at you like you're a breath of fresh air, but this person is so heartbroken by something from their past, or this is you. You may have met someone, and when you met them, it's like you were so broken and wounded from your past, it just couldn't work out. Now that you're finally becoming happy with yourself and with life, you and this person can come back together and have like a fresh start. Again, I, I don't feel like this is like a person that you've been trying your hardest to break a soul tie for. I don't even think that this is a person that you've been in like an actual relationship with. But somebody is very nostalgic right now. They're thinking about old times and, and holding on to something or someone is holding on to them. So somebody here has been trying to manifest like true love, but they have some person that they have an unhealthy soul tie with that is holding on to them for dear life. But something is going to change within a few weeks. Someone is going to take their mask off and they're going to let you know that you're their soulmate. And look at this air Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the King of Swords came out twice. Pay attention to your dreams. Yeah. It's someone's wish fulfillment to have a life with you. I feel a lot of you, this is like a fairly new person in your life. But they were confused. This person, let me tell you what's happening. This is what love will do to you as well. Someone realizes that they're really in love with someone. But it's 
hard for them to see the new love because they're still removing all of the bad energy from like a really unhealthy soul tie, a really, really bad heartbreak. They're still, somebody is just still healing. And this person, they could have ran from you. Like, <laughs> they could have been like, man, you make me so happy. But it started to trigger this person so much, they probably just ran. Yeah, fate is here. Nothing is truly a coincidence. Like, whatever happened was supposed to happen. Pay attention to your dreams. Some of you, you're getting dreams of confirmation. For some of you, it could even be a tarot reading. That's kind of guiding you or advising you on how this situation. Also, always be careful of readings that you listen to. Make sure you're taking time out to be at peace with yourself. Cool, calm, and collected. Meditating, getting the answers and the clarity that you need. Somebody here was trapped. I feel like you and this person were trapped. I feel like for some of you, you and a person both, you met at a time where you were both healing. I feel like this masculine was trapped and I feel like you were afraid of love. This masculine was trapped by some kind of soul tie and so were you. But this person wants to make a promise to you. Yeah. Somebody, someone though, if you, if you're with this person or even if you and this person were just dating at all, there was someone, someone, there's for sure a third party out here that was trying to spiritually bully or attack someone because they knew that this person was manifesting you, but there's going to be just, wow, justice, this person cares for you and they're making a vow now to get themselves out of some kind of spiritual bind or contract with this, whoever this person is. This person is, is choosing now to accept the challenge and do whatever they have to do to get out of some kind of binding contract that they've been in because they realize now that something was unfair. Somebody was trying to destroy their connection with you. And it's really like a Jezebel energy. Somebody is realizing, they're like, wow, like I keep having stress, fear, anxiety, and problems and trying to get into this new relationship. It always feels like it's the wrong timing. Somebody is realizing now that someone has been doing something. Someone definitely could have with this vow and this death card, I don't know, and, and bully out here. Somebody could have done, somebody is realized, somebody did some kind of binding magic on them. And actually, you and this person both could have like a similar fear of commitment. But whoever did this binding magic or something else, this this person that someone has this unhealthy soul tie with, this person is so afraid of losing this person that that's the reason why they tried to trap this individual, this masculine for sure. But see, this person is going to have justice. This masculine, like their problems is not so much. This person, to be honest, they, they really have, um, they really have had like quite the situation with an ex. You know, I, I don't go and I'm like trying to, I'm not, I'm not the type of person where I'm just bashing masculines. I'm not, because a lot of masculines are waking up. And like I said, this may not even be. This isn't like a karmic masculine to some of you. This is an actual divine masculine, but they're healing. And that takes time. You have to have a bit of faith and trust in this situation. It says it is safe to trust the situation. So let's just see. Yeah. And this is a faded. It says this is a destined partnership. It is safe to trust. I feel like you and this person both have very, very, very fragile hearts because of something from the past and there's an awakening that's happening that's causing you both now to open up to the idea of love but the divine feminine may be a bit more awakened and aware than this masculine this masculine still has some kind of soul tied to a person that doesn't want to let them go and that person has possibly used magic or something else to try and bind this person yeah wow soulmate there's no negative cards coming out 
your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Like this person, they're, they're not planning to go anywhere. Even, even if it has been hard for this situation to actually get off the ground, they they don't want to go anywhere. They want to have fun and enjoy you. But it has been difficult for you and this person to enjoy one another because of this karmic energy. Healing, see? All wounds. All wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. This Mercury retrograde, along with that, um, with Venus being in retrograde, has had people... I'm talking climbing way in the back of their closet. And some people actually did the work to, to drag their own skeletons out. And that's a good thing. But I tell you guys, if you want to be in serious relationships, because I want to make sure that I'm talking to people, a lot of people, you are actively involved with the person. It requires patience. Divine feminine has to know how to receive you have to create a, a situation or environment for a person to feel safe being vulnerable. You will meet people who have a broken heart, whether they have a broken heart from a past relationship. There was a romantic relationship. Somebody here could have been extremely bet like betrayed by a best friend. People have also been left hurt and wounded even by their family. And one thing that people don't like to talk about is how much love will re really, really trigger your wounds of heartbreak. Somebody I feel is actually falling in love with the person and it, they're realizing that because this love, it feels so good and it feels so safe. They're realizing, oh my gosh, like I have really, really been hurt in the past. You have to give a person time to work through that and process that. It's a spiritual lesson in patience and in faith. Your person is already a part of your life, but firm boundaries are needed now. Your true love is already part of your life. But when you see that a person is healing, you still have to have boundaries. That's that tough love. Like, yeah, there's potential here in love, but you still have to do the work. You have new love. That's what I'm saying. This is a fairly new lover for you, but it says a new love or recommitment. Somebody wants a fresh start because I don't think that you guys even had like the start that you wanted because there was heartbreak. There's heartbreak been, wow, marriage. Oh my gosh. And interference. It says this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. An external party is intruding on this relationship. And you can expect to hear the apology that you want. So somebody here, this could be like a twin flame. They may have ran. Or you ran. Who? Somebody ran. You both could ran from this. Because the, the love, the love is very triggering. You know, people talk so much about karmics and all that other stuff. But true love is very, very triggering. The person that you choose to have a life partnership that is the person that is going to be a mirror to you every single day. When you are with your actual like kingdom spouse, your God ordained spouse, the person God chose for you, they're going to show you things about yourself every single day. And if you're still dealing, having that shadow, it's triggering. And naturally you will run away from it. Either you ran from this person or they ran from you, but they're like, no, I see the problem. Let's let's try to make this thing work. You know, this is not someone that is toxic. This is someone who has a broken heart and they're trying to heal. So I don't want to hear it. I'm never talking to that person. OK, this may not be your reading. I'm so tired of the negativity. Like people don't know how to separate themselves from the past and, and actually live with the illusion that every person that comes to you is going to be perfect as if we're we're perfect. Right. Like, come on. And so I'm saying the pride, the ego, good relationships require that there still be some sacrifices and some patience. That doesn't mean stop your life away for someone, but to give a person a bit of grace and mercy, the same grace and mercy that you probably have had to have or need, that's only being fair.